Hello all this is Santosh and uh, welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial we are going to you know make a part model for this particular example. So we also have a drawing for this you can see here this is a drawing and uh, these are the two you know isometric views 3D views and you can see here this is the main view uh, from which they have taken uh, section BB and section AA. So we are going to create a sketch on this uh, plane and uh, all these circles around four circles will be there so all these four circles we are going to create and then uh, what we have to do is we have to create this base and then we have to create this wall uh, and then uh, we have to make this uh, particular model so I will just show you how we can make this model uh, I'll just go to sketch a moment and uh, we'll start doing it okay so go to new file and create a new file here and hit this is the model and I'll just click OK. So this is our uh, new uh, you know 3D model workbench. So I'm going to go to sketch element on this XY plane and I'll just click OK. So we have four circles that are to be created. So I'm going to go to OK so circle and here uh, the first circle is with the 22 by multiply by 2 which is uh, 244 diameter okay I'm going to fit this and now the next circle will be 20.5 multiplied by 2 so now this is the second circle and then we have uh, 10.75 multiplied by 2 and then 17.5 diameter okay so these are the four circles that I created 10.75, 17.5 and 22 and 20.5. So these are the four circles I have created. And now we have uh, seen here there is a line here. So this line is uh, 13 mm uh, distance from this particular center. So we can create that line now. So go to line and create this line. So I'm going to give a distance here. Press D. So distance between these two x-axis is 13 mm. Okay. Sorry guys, it is not a 13, it is 14.5. Okay. So 13, this is 1.5. So it will be 14.5. Okay. So now uh, we are going to make uh, one more line here. So which is of distance 1.5 mm from this line okay so you can see here this is it is shown over here okay and then uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this extra lines so press T and trim this extra lines this is also not required so okay so this is the sketch and now uh, you can see here these two slots are there I'm going to create those two slots you can see here there is an arc of radius 14.75 so I'm going to create an arc here with a radius of 14.75 okay so this is my arc okay so this is actually a construction line and we also have this so you can see here 2.5 mm of offset circles sorry arcs so I'm going to give an offset here so both side it is 1.25 and it should be symmetric offset and click OK and now I'm going to create a circle at the edges so this is the first circle and this is the second circle okay and now you can see here there is an 1.5 mm uh, distance between these two center of this circle so I'm going to give that distance now press D from this point to this x-axis it is 1.5 mm and also there is a line here you can see this line uh, which is tangent to this arc okay which is of 20 degree angle so let us create hit D and uh, this angle is 20 one side it is 20 degree so now uh, this is actually tangent to this particular line so I'm going to move this let me trim this extra lines 
okay so here as well I'm going to trim these extra lines okay so now you can move it and now this should be tangent to this line press C and select tangency between these two okay and trim this extra line and make this as construction line and this as well construction line okay so now you can see a sketch is fully constrained so this whatever the profile that we have created it has to be mirrored on the other side so go to mirror and select connected curves so all the connected curves are selected now go to center line select this and click ok ok so this side we have ok so now uh, you can see here there is a profile here so this profile so this profile uh, we are going to create it now so before going to create that profile I am going to create this line so you can see here this is there is a line here so this line I am going to create ok so there are two lines one is over here and another one is over here okay and these two are the different dimensions this you can see here 5.8 mm and 4.5 mm so let us do this dimensioning hit d from this point it is 4.5 mm and between this point to this point it is 5.8 mm okay and you can see here the distance this is 14.5 mm and after that uh, the 4.1 mm and 4.5 mm so 14.5 mm divided by 2 will be 7.25 plus 4.15 sorry 4.1 so hit D and from this center to this edge it is 7.25 plus 4.1 okay and then hit D again between this to this point it is 7.25 plus 4.5 okay let's click okay so now I'm going to trim this extra line here and I'm going to extend this line until here okay and we also have a line here and this is also line here and I'm going to trim these lines okay so that's all so that's all we have in the uh, in this sketch and and you can see here the sketch is fully constrained with one auto dimension so let us see what is that dimension so this dimension okay so okay so there is a dimension here so what is this dimension 5.8 mm we have already given this dimension but still it is removed so this is 5.8 mm okay so now you can see sketch is fully constrained so now I'm going to finish the sketch and uh, let me fit this model okay so now we are going to create a base here so which is our base so you can go to 3d here so this is the base whatever we have here it is a base with a 2 mm of thickness you can see here this is a thickness so now let me go to extrude okay and keep it as very less value so that it will be visible properly and this is along the direction okay so now start selecting the edges okay so this is just 2 mm so we can just give 2 mm here and you can just click okay so now you can see here this is overall 6.5 mm so since we have already given 2 mm here so from the bottom we have to give 4.5 mm okay so yeah sorry 6.5 mm so we have to give 6.5 mm for this wall so let us go to extrude again and start selecting this profile okay so this has been selected give it as none and it is with from the bottom it is 6.5 okay so give 6.5 mm and it should be united with this body click okay okay so this has been united and now i will just create this 
circle you can see here this whatever the circle we have so this is with the dimension you can see here 13.5 mm so let us give that 13.5 mm go to extrude and select this and this so it is 13.5 mm click ok okay so now so now I'm going to remove the material from this uh, you can see these slots and as well as center line so I'm going to go to extrude and select a connected curves so this curve and this curve and this center so it should be removed from the material body so I'm going to remove it now click ok so you can see here uh, it has been removed ok so now uh, I have to create this you know rectangle or it may be a square so we can see the dimensions over here so it is of 8 mm width and as well as the other dimensions are given here it should uh, you know it should be created like this so now what I will do is I will just go to sketcher environment on this plane ok click ok so now uh, let me go to line here so this is the first line and this is the second line and here what I am going to do is I am going to project this outer curve circle ok and now let me trim this line ok so now uh, this is 14.5 mm width so let us go to dimension and give this as a 14.5 ok and this center should lie on this particular y axis lie on y axis ok so that's all we have uh, you can see the sketch is not fully constrained so let us see what are the dimensions so this length so now what I'm going to do is point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay this is obviously 90 degrees so let us make it as a little okay now finish the sketch so I'm going to extrude this go to extrude it is of 8 mm and uh, now let me keep it as single curve start selecting this curve ok so it should be none and it should be in reverse direction with 8 mm now we can unite this body click ok so now uh, this is done and now you can see here uh, there is a circle here so, ok so this is the hole sorry uh, this hole with the 5 mm diameter ok so let us start creating this and from the bottom it is 9.5 mm and from the edge it is 3.75 mm ok so let us create that hole go to hole and select this ok so now you can see this is a point so from the bottom of the edge from this bottom it is 9 mm sorry 9.5 mm ok so then from this edge it is 3.75 ok so now finish the sketch so now it is a simple hole and then uh, the diameter will be 5 mm ok yeah. so now everything is ok you can just click ok so it has been removed and now we have an edge uh, chamfer there so you can just give the chamfer here 
and as well as shown for here. So now we are left with some uh, you know edge blends and then chomfers. So now what I'll do is you can see here there is a tip of 0.5 mm, so which is always over here. So we can give that, and then we also have a radius of one here in the bottom. So let us give that radius of one mm. So go to edge blend here, and now we can select this and this. This is of 1 mm and just apply. Okay. And uh, we also have uh, 0.5 mm over here. This is 0.5 mm and here as well 0.5 mm. This completely it is 5.5 mm. And just click OK. So now uh, you can see here there are some edge blends left. You can see there is a inside a radius of one, which is uh, this one. So let us give one mm radius here. Go to edge blend and select this one mm. Click apply. And also there is a one more edge blend, which is this one. One mm, and you can just click OK. So yeah, so that's all guys. Uh, this is how we can uh, make this model and also yeah, you can see here there is one more uh, you know fillet you can see here 90 degree with 0.5 mm. So let us give this chamfer and 0.5 mm 45 degree. So this side as well as on the bottom side. Okay, so this is how uh, can be done. So now what I will do is I will just switch off everything, Control W and switch off all the things and show only solid bodies. Okay. So this is how I can uh, make this model guys. So if you have any doubts, uh, please comment in the section below. I will uh, try to answer. Thank you guys.